time now for Sit Sixero. This is where I got 60 seconds to talk about anything I want. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. Donovan Bennett from Sportsnet is joining us. <laughs> Donovan, um, how did the Leafs blow a 3-1 series lead? I'll give you the first word. I mean, one, that was excruciating to watch because I literally... Sorry, what I just did or the series? What I just did or the well, series? Both, fair enough. But I, I had to just watch you. I wasn't distracted by your words or your rants. <laughs> I just had to sit with what you look like horrifying to you, yes. We've established so that. Was not nice. Okay. Um, neither was the series, quite frankly. How did they lose a 3 1 series lead at losing 3 1? Carey Price is the best goalie in the world, Good the point. most clutch goalie in the world. Ties Ken Dryden for the most Game Sevens victories and maybe the most historic franchise we have in the sport. We talked about how this team is tougher. They have more veteran leadership. They're playing a heavier game. They brought some guys who were from this area, Joe Thornton, Wayne Simmons, to understand what this meant. But two of those tougher guys, Jake Muzzin, John Tavares, weren't playing when it really mattered. So we could talk about the $10 million players who didn't score in the clutch, but some of what made this team different wasn't on the ice for the last couple of meaningful moments. Who was more disappointing to you? And I'm, I, It wasn't William Nylander. He had eight points in the series. Um, between Mitch Marner and Austin Matthews, which one leaves you scratching your head more? Mitch Marner. And it's really not close. We had all the memes at the beginning of the series. that Oh, Austin Matthews. He's laughing at this tough play. He's going into the corners. He's really enjoying it. Mitch Marner, it seemed like he was feeling his way through the series. Every time he missed a chance, he was looking upwards for help from someone or somewhere. And so they both struggled. But the struggles of Marner, specifically in clutch games, is next level. Zero goals, two points, 17 shots uh, in this series. 18 straight. I didn't stutter. 18 straight playoff games without a goal. Minus seven in that time. 48 shots, lots of opportunities to get one in. So this is not just this series. This is a historical thing with Mitch Marner in clutch situations where, unfortunately, he hasn't been able to produce the way he does in the regular season. Donovan, um, this story's not ending here. You and I both know this city and this team pretty well. This is going to be an interesting week. We appreciate you. Thank you, man. You get paid to talk. Just continue to talk. That's, that's, the, that's the best I've sounded in a minute in a long time. Thanks, Donovan. <laughs> Uh, we're going to take a break. Dr. Susie Hoda is joining us. Infectious disease. We're going to talk more Leafs a little later on, and I'm going to say words, believe me. But coming up next, do you have a question about the situation we're still in with COVID, with the vaccines, with all of it again? Dr. Susie Hoda, infectious disease expert, is joining us next. What's your question? 1-866-267-3797. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca. Twitter, 24-7. At Breakfast TV, we check it out 24-7, believe me. If you send in a tweet, we'll see it. It is 644, Tirana. The sun rose. It's a, no, it's a new day. You're watching Breakfast Television.